taking. We are on the same page so far, right? Proactiveness and aggressiveness. Since entrepreneurs rely on the innovation, so they don't they, they won't relax. They don't want any other person to take that idea and start the business. If you have some innovative idea, so you should be quick and fast enough to launch a product from that. Clear? We cannot wait. So that's why proactiveness and aggressiveness are required. And then setting up achievable goals. Goal setting. We can set a goal like uh, Martin Moon, but that is unrealistic. We can say that like, I have this innovative idea. I will create a product, plant in the market, and I will start earning 10,000 rupees per month in the initial stage. Vision is big, but the initial effort is small. According to George Shorian, success S is the ratio of amount of achievement A to the amount of expectations E. So S equal to A by E. So we have more we have achievement, more of its success. So some of the uh, topics that I will be covering, those are more of a theoretical. Since we have been studying agile since yesterday, so it's for a change. I have been into some management books, reading some management books, entrepreneurial books, so I thought like, let's uh, put it a different way, right? So, the main topic, that's why we are here. If we combine agile and entrepreneurial, what will be that? Either an entrepreneur will get benefits of using Agile or the Agile product development team will get benefit of using some of the important traits of an entrepreneur. Right? So, the first is entrepreneurial Agile. Agile, so I'm not telling you any new methodology, just a new name, so that it's a Agile, Scrum, Kanban, whatever you are following but with the mindset of an entrepreneur. And second is using the Jai concept in entrepreneurship. So we are clear on this so far, right? So entrepreneur work in build, measure, and learn cycle. Build, build the product, measure, measure the effectiveness, measure the requirement, uses, talk with the customer, and then listen, they come the data, and then learn, and idea. So can you relate this cycle uh, with your agile product? Or? When, uh, when, we, when we measure, so what is measure here? Can we measure in agile? Planning. So planning is implicit. When you say build, that means plan and build. Yes, demo. And there is another ceremony that we do for the retrospect. So when you say measure, so we are doing demo, we are getting the customer feedback, and at the same time we are retrospecting just to check what went well and what went wrong and what should we do now for the world. So that is our planning phase. Planning, when we learn, we got a new idea and then we go into the cycle. So if you see, uh, we have uh, a lot of examples in, uh, around us. For example, a company just snap it. They are just comparing deals three or four years ago. Now they are into the full fledged e commerce side. So the innovative idea was just to make a website so that you can compare and user click on one particular deal so it will take you to that e commerce website. But they, they, when they were into the learn phase, so they got the another idea depending on the market condition. Yes, we should also go into the e commerce. Take a 
example of Paytm. So they were primarily into virtual desk business. Paytm. They were into the mobile recharge or DTM recharge. But when they exploit, they see like uh, the change in the market and shift in the consumer behavior from the stores to the online store. So they move into the online store. So that was an entrepreneurial effort to have the one website you can recharge uh, your uh, phone or PDF online. Right? So we will uh, discuss these one by one. First is build. According to Peter Drucker, there is surely nothing so useless as doing with great efficiency, but should not be done at all. What does it mean? Instead of not doing something at all, at least do something and try to find out where you failed and then try again or something. Yes. Any other interpretation? Not, uh, give our efforts on something that cannot be done. Uh, no, we, we, we can do it, but uh, the key word here is useless. So, to do something, when entrepreneur innovate, so they should realize like if I go and do this particular business or create this particular product, I will get some benefit. So we should be sure. Nothing like that, uh, we, uh, I am just sitting <coughs> got an idea and I start building a product. Okay. So the other thought we can uh, draw from the greater number line there is we should eliminate waste. So in Agile, how we eliminate waste? Any waste activity?
so far what we have done we are looking at the feedback loop will measure learn so now the important plate of entrepreneur that is hustling so anyone any anyone has idea like what is hustling gambling not gambling but uh, so i will tell you if you look at this uh, presentation it goes from work to start <coughs> So the lower part means more of the work, and upper part means more of talk. So we have three kinds of entrepreneurial effort. Mainly, one is charitable. Charitable is all talk with very less work. So uh, take a scenario where you have some innovative idea, and without Building a product without starting on that product development, you start talking to each and every one about your idea. So what will happen? Yes. That talk becomes possible. That becomes possible. So any other dis disadvantage of this? Somebody else will pick it up. Somebody else will pick it up. Yes. So. You will just keep on talking like I am doing this and I am doing this. Actually, you are not doing, and you are just talking to each and every one. So this is not frequented, and we call this type of entrepreneurial effort as charitable. So next is martyr, and these type of entrepreneurs are completely opposite. So they do the hard work. They stay awake all the night. Working on their product, but they won't tell that to anyone. So they won't hustle. So is that good thing? I have a product ready. I just keep on adding more feature to it. I'm not telling it uh, to uh, anybody that like I'm working on this product. So this is again not recommended. So martyr are not recommended. So third kind of effort is hustler. Cluster are ideal combination of charitable and the best market. So what they will do? They will work initially, then they will talk, and then they will work, and then. Yeah. So they will they will keep on updating their their customers. I have a product. I am just making a product, and then I will launch this product. So I have seen some, um, uh, some of my friends who are into the they into the product development. So they are most of the time they are on, on, on the Facebook, Twitter, uh, like uh, telling people about their product and asking them to use it. So that is the mixed approach of charity and fun. So when we say entrepreneurial nature, so we have three things. First is orientation, strategy, and management. If one agile team want to adopt some features or some traits of an entrepreneur, so they will do these three things. Orientation means you adopt few traits of entrepreneur. Maybe innovativeness, like risk taking, proactiveness, and then strategy. Strategy means say agile team is working, but they are they should think in. Parallel with the management objective, right? So that is the strategy. And third one is the management. See, if your product owner is just working on the product, having prioritizing uh, stories and everything, so he should be aligned with the management, like finance management, marketing management, post management. So he should be aware of these things so that he can just apply that knowledge into the agile product. So next, we have three things: <coughs> validated learning. As I tell you, like validated learning is if you do something, you learn and then you adapt to it. Next is knowledge-based innovation. So a uh, very good example <coughs> of knowledge-based innovation is what you can say innovation uh, in the early days of shipping industry. So uh, the 80% of the time was uh, used in Loading and unloading of the goods from the truck and into the ship. Right. 
So there was one American, Malcolm McCain. In 1956, he came up with the concept of container. He was a trucker, so he want his, his his motive was to earn more profit. So he said, like, if there will be container, so all the goods in a container can be moved out of the out, out of the body of truck, and we can uh, move into the ship. So that was an innovation, and it doesn't involve any technology. It was just a social innovation. So next point, value stream mapping is also related to that we can take example A. So what uh, Malcolm McKay, what he did, he just plotted and the entire shipping process onto a chart and then identify like this is the loading and unloading. It is taking most of the time, so let's optimize it. So next is minimum viable product. So we know it. Typical agile term, minimum marketable feature. So, entrepreneurial agile, the minimum marketable feature or the minimum viable product is based upon the management strategy. So, this, this is entrepreneurial. You can have one entrepreneurial effort in your organization. So, there is one person who is employee of the company and but thinking. Entrepreneurial. So we call it entrepreneurial. So we have a couple of case uh, studies here. Project Purple 2. The CEO of the company, an IT giant, he came up with the idea of multi touch screen. Right? He hired some engineers and secretly started working on that project. So at the end, he was so impressed that like he thought of putting this functionality onto a phone. So that was an entrepreneurial effort from the CEO of the company. The company name was Apple. And the product they work on, that was iPhone. So an entrepreneur can be a management trainee, can be project manager, can be scrum master, can be CEO of the company. Similarly, other example, we have the SnapTax. So SnapTax, they, they come up with the innovation idea, like just like to file a return. In US, we have Form W2, just like our uh, Form 16 in India. So, their idea was instead of talking to the person on the phone, so they make a iPhone application and then they allow a user to just click the picture of their W2 form and send to the server. So, at there they will just filling, preparing the return and then contacting, contacting with that person. So, it was so popular, the innovative idea, it was a very fast way to file a return. So, there were around 3,000. Uh, 350,000 copies in 2011. It later merged with their internal product, product, product that was the Vortex. So, here are the different types of time. Entrepreneurial Agile again. So, Banner Scorecard. So, anyone here aware of what is Banner Scorecard? Yes. What is that? You said it in one line. So, balance scorecard is the matrices defined by the management. Matrices could be any area from the marketing, finance. So, we should, when we say agile retrospective, so agile retrospective should align to those matrices. Next. Very learning and spike. Yesterday, uh, uh, we also discussed this uh, about the Jeffos. So Jeffos, so his business idea was at the Holland shoe store. His idea was he went to a shoe store. He said, like, let me click the picture of your inventory. I will put on my website, and if some customer buy it, I will come to come to your store and buy at full price. So this was a contract with a store owner. So when he uh, put picture of the inventory online, so he start getting feedback from the customer. So, this is from where we started. So, now uh, was, this company was acquired by Amazon for more than $1.2 billion. So, this is a online shoe store. Entrepreneurship then is a behavior rather than personality trait. 
and the foundation lies in concept and theory rather than intuition. It's not the intuition like we did from the intuition we work on. Entrepreneurship can successfully be applied to agile product development by applying agile knowledge and entrepreneur move to knowledge based innovation, goal orientation, process improvement, it's a daily given entrepreneur and edge over competitors. Right?